Unless you're real, 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 real smart and clever, yeah. Concentrate right now to the utmost 100%, yeah. And even try harder than that. Hercules, I yell, I want you to listen to me and I want you to listen good. And I want you to concentrate, yeah. Do it real fine and do it for tonight in Ponzi, yeah. Because in Ponzi, the macho man Randy Savage with his million dollar robes, oh yeah. I've done so much in such a short period of time that I amaze myself. Hercules Ayala, don't you know that you better not even know. Make me mad at all. Because I'm going to be styling tonight in Ponzi because I've been to Ponzi before. And all the people in Ponzi have been writing letters saying let's have the world's greatest athlete and the world's sexiest wrestler. Yeah, sex. Yeah. All the chicks, man, and Ponzi, come on out and see a real man. Yeah. Hercules Ayala, you're nothing. Boy, Hugo, I don't think you can say it any plainer than that, could you? Nick. The Macho Man, Randy Savage, the North American heavyweight champion at the time, to face number one challenger, Big Hercules Ayala. Number just one, just to thing. demonstrate, Jagger, is the fact that Savage was a star many, many years ago. That's he was right. Before New York came along. Yeah, before Believe New me. York, before WWF. He was a great wrestler back then. Not only that, he was a pretty fair country baseball player. Now, That's right. That right now, he got it to AAA. He was a heck of a third baseman and a heck of a good hitter. But he likes professional wrestling better, which is what his brother and his father have done for a living. And Roger Man Randy Savage is definitely a credit to professional wrestling. And in the ring with him, the strongest wrestler in the world, Hercules Ayala. And there's not too many things you can't say bad about Hercules Ayala, number one. Ex Universal Wrestling Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, Canadian Heavyweight Champion, more than three times, Central European States Champion, heavyweight Champion, Germany's Heavyweight Champion. Yes, this man has been around. Hercules Ayala right now is in a, in bordered in a bitter feud in Puerto Rico with Carlos Colon, and I'll tell you something, one of them's gonna get crippled in that feud. That's right. Okay, the belt shown by the referee Ricky Vargas. Randy Macho Man Savage, the North American heavyweight champion. Hercules Ayala to challenge him. We are in Ponce, Puerto Rico, approximately about two hours away from the capital of Puerto Rico, San Juan. That's right. Of course, everything on this island is about two or three hours away. It's only 100 miles long and 35 miles wide. Unless you drive a nighttime drunk to that's Maya true. West. That's true. And mess up the tires There's of your car. There's a little inside joke onto that one there, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. If you want to know about it, write to Eddie Grice. Productions, he'll be happy to explain. They see Macho Man and Hercules here. They're sitting there. I think this is one of their first meetings together. As you can tell, they're both kind of feeling each other out just to see what's happening, you know? Well, I'll give you the insight on this rivalry. Randy Macho Man Savage taking a North American heavyweight champion, claiming that there was no man able to defeat him. Oh, what a body. He's always had great shape, this Savage. And Ayala promised the wrestling fans of the World Wrestling Council that on that evening, he was going to take the belt away from Savage. And Savage say, no way, as you heard in the interview. And this was the great battle for the North American championship. Well, I'll tell you something. Macho Man Savage went to slam Hercules Ayala, and he didn't get him one inch off the mat. Let me tell you, brother. Well, that's we, a big man, Hercules Ayala. We, right here in Capital Sports, and I'm pretty sure most of the uh, wrestlers and officials in the World Wrestling Council, we are very proud of Randy Macho Man Savage. And he's so successful today, and we recognize his talent. Look at Hercules Ayala right now, just press slam Savage, 260 pounds above his head, and just pitched him across the ring. Now that's the man obsessed. That's the man. Look at Savage can't get out of the ring fast enough. Okay, so now we go back into the other point. Now, now you have seen another Hercules in the United States, another uh, Hercules, but when you go back this many years back, and you already see a man wrestling under the name of Hercules Ayala. Then uh, this new superstar is coming along with these names are not really the originals. No, that's, that's one thing about professional wrestling. The originals were back in the 40s and the 50s. We just carry on the tradition. And Hercules Ayala 
He's been in wrestling profession for many, many years. And I might add, he's one of the top professional wrestlers in the world today. He's widely respected and he's widely known that if you go into the ring with Hercules Ayala, you're going in with the strongest man in professional wrestling, and he can and will hurt you. He's got an inverted figure four that has broken many legs. What, a, what about the difference, though? At the time, Ayala was fighting for the colors of the Puerto Rican island, and his friends were Carlos Colon, the invaders. At the present time, in 1988, Ayala is no longer a member of the Justice Army or the Puerto Rican wrestlers or the scientific style wrestlers, but indeed, he's an ex-universal champion, and he's one of the tough and roughest professional wrestlers, what you could call a bad guy. Well, let me tell you something about Hercules Ayala. Talking about bad guys, Hercules right Ayala. next to me, it's one of... Uh, let me tell you about those guys. Ayala. Hercules never had anything going his way until he started beating up those so-called friends of his that wouldn't let him have a title match. Then he started becoming a champion. That's why he changed his ways. Look what he's doing, Randy Savage, right now. He's just completely, just out muscling this man, out thinking this man. He's totally dominating this match. Hugo. Well, Savage was not prepared to face Ayala on that night. You could sense it right from the beginning. Savage thought that he could just go in the ring and just walk all over Ayala, but with the fans screaming at the Coliseum, Pachin Vicente, in Ponce, they got the champion nervous. Well, you can see right there, those big slams of Hercules have definitely taken their toll on Macho, Macho Man Randy Savage. And one thing about Savage is he loves people applauding him, but if you reject him, if you boo him, you could really get him upset. Oh, that's for darn sure. And the Puerto Rican wrestling fans are known to be a little bit trying to get everybody upset. Oh, yes, especially if they are against uh, the wrestler with, with their favorite wrestler in the ring at a time. In this case, Savage. You take a look at Hercules Ayala. Hercules Ayala now had nose. He's one of these guys that he knows right now that he's completely dominating this man, and I think he sees the fear in Savage's eyes. Okay, it's Savage, stalling for time here. Referee, he's all over Hercules Ayala. Ayala wants to get the champion inside the ring. Savage using a little bit of psychology, and that he is an expert. Did you notice anything here, Hugo? This is all pre-Elizabeth days, too. He never had Elizabeth with him when he was no. down here. She's been good to his wrestling career, but she hasn't made him a star. He has made her a star. He's done the wrestling, that's right. She's just out there on her tote tails. But anyhow, you can't argue with success. And here you go, Randy Savage, you got a side headlock. Oh. Oh, he drops down again. Oh, another time. Whoa. Oh. You see how effortlessly he did that, Hugo Smith. Just picked him up like a little toy. Just like a little toy. Okay, the champion protects himself, putting the boot on the ropes. But Ayala right there, ready for him. And if you if you haven't seen Ayala, let's let's talk to the fans that are might be maybe watching this tape right now in Canada, some parts uh, uh, away from Puerto Rico or the places where the World Wrestling Council tapes are seen. If they think that Ayala looks good in this tape, they should take a look of the most recent tapes of Eddie Grimes' production. He, he is a powerhouse. Oh, I'm telling you, he's. Uh, Hercules all you can't say enough about him. I mean, he's just he's a good friend of mine And I'm proud to say he's a good friend of mine and Hercules Ayala without a doubt will be the Universal Heavyweight Champion again Well, I don't know about that. There's a lot of men Looking for the title on the upcoming tournament. There's Ronnie Garvin. There's Carlos Colon the Iron Sheik Jimmy Boogie William Man Valiant Chris Adams I don't, I don't think Balin it's been uh, rated for the tournament but you never know man tell. until the date comes and you see the eight man going for the tournament then we know but regardless of who wins the tournament they might win the match right there and become the champion the the thing is all the big names around the world wrestling cast including yourself Jaggers your partner Dandy Dan Crawford like you mentioned the boogeyman Jimmy Balin there's also Kamala and the list uh, goes on and on they're going to be after that man the day he gets the belt around his waist. He's going to be a marked man. Everybody's going to be chasing him like he's got his hands full, he's got his hand caught in the cookie jar. So we go back in history and check this classics. Randy Machamanda Savage, the North American champion at the time, defended the title against Hercules Ayala. 
Everybody talks about the great success professional wrestling has today. Wrestling has always drawn great, great fans, but it, it never really had since 1940, the age of uh, gorgeous George, never had the national TV exposure. exposure. Right. You take a look at this house right here in Ponce. This was before New York days. I don't think you find too many seats there in that place yeah. right now. And Puerto Rico has been that way for years and years. Many, and years. many years. Just fantastic wrestling fans. But of course, you have the best talent in professional wrestling here too. And it's more coming along. Right there, he just low blowed Hercules Ayala. And I'll guarantee you one thing, that just took the wind out of Hercules' and sails. And the fans didn't like it. The fans were upset about it. Nothing well, you, that the referee can do, just warn Savage. And look at Savage. Look at those people behind him over there. They're trying to tell Ricky Vargas to get him out of there. That he low blowed Hercules Ayala. Well, Hercules had full wind in his sails until that move there. Classic elbow. Boom. You're talking about speed. That's one of the answers on Savage wrestling career. That's right. The balance, the risk moves. There is one. Oh! Oh, and he caught him in a bear hug. Mr. Hercules Ayala. He got him in a bear hug. You know, at, at one given point in his career, not only did Ayala defeat some top names, but he was one of the first wrestlers to defeat names like King Kong Bundy and the Iron Sheik. That's right. Hercules Ayala has been around this island for a while. He's been in the central states of the United States, like we said, Canada before, Texas. Always very well received. Always, like I said, respected by the wrestlers. And I'll tell you something right now. Boy, when he gets up going, he gets a full head of steam on him. He's pretty good. You know, I was there on that night of this match in Ponce. And the fans were 100% behind Hercules to the point that when Ayala was coming to the ring, everybody was just begging Hercules Ayala to defeat Savage because he was so confident. And as you know, Savage, when he is confident, he will brag and brag about it. But, but the thing was that on that given day, Savage had made the statement that Ayala was going to be defeated and so did Ayala. So it was a tremendous battle and we are honored in being able to bring it to you to you fans so you can take a look at the classics in professional wrestling. Well, I'll tell you something. It looks good. Oh! Right there, that man moved. That's a bad way to end up. Well, if it hurt in a moment, imagine after the body cools off. Oh, That's when it really hurts. Oh, and there goes Hercules, that big size 13 boot, just stomping and kicking. Okay, Ayala all over Randy Macho Man Savage, the challenger oh. all over the champion. Good punches, rocking the Macho Man. Whoa. Boy, he's rocking. Another oh. shot, the referee right in the middle, warning Ayala to go back. He's counting. Uh-oh. Hercules Ayala better be careful or he's going to get disqualified <laughs> in this title match. He's not going to win no title. Yes, sir. That's what Ricky Vargas is explaining to him right now. Listen to him or he's going to take him back to the dressing room. Okay, Savage throwing some punches to the win. Oh, big right hand by Hercules Ayala. And Savage at this moment was facing danger. He knows he's about ready to get this, about ready to get. Oh, look out. That is the moment where Savage takes out a big chain and nails Ayala right on the head. He goes for the cover. Look. One, two. Ayala barely puts his boot on the lower rope. Well, I'm telling you something. You see that Macho Man Randy Savage turn his back, the camera reached in his pocket, got a chain. Savage. Come out with the chain. But Ayala stood right up. Oh. A lot of blood coming out from the head of Ayala, but he was there, ready to finish. Savage, Savage going again for the, for the chain. This time hitting Ayala. There he goes, he's getting that chain again. Hugo. Now let's just see what kind of damage he can do with it. He picks up. Well, gonna... he almost turned towards the referee there, brother. All oh, right. Classic Randy Savage move up on the top rope. The Macho Man. Oh, he oh. missed the elbow. 
And when he missed the elbow, he went one more time for the chain. Hits Ayala. Ayala's down again. One, one two, two, foot on the rope. And I'm talking about he saved himself, putting the boot on the lower rope. Just one second away from victory for the champion. Referee puts the arm down. The match continues, Ayala bleeding, but not quitting. He's been hit twice with that chain. I don't know how much Hercules Ayala can take of that chain before he has to lay down for a three count. Okay, Savage getting close to Hercules Ayala. He wants to use the chain one more time. Referee warning Savage not to break the rules. Here comes Ayala. He's searching for the chain. He's got his hand in his tights there. He's trying to get that chain out. And he's going to use it on Macho Man Randy Savage if he can, I think. Oh! He's got, he's got the chain. Yes, sir, he's got it. Away from the referee. And he hits him hard. He got him. One, One two, two, three. Right there, Hercules Ayala wins the North American heavyweight title in Ponce, Puerto Rico from Macho Man Randy Savage. You know, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd like to thank you and tell you it's been great bringing this video to you this before, week. Before we go away, Savage tried twice using the chain. Was very lucky for Ayala to be close to the ropes. Ayala conquering the championship. Everybody in Ponce was so happy. The friends were coming in from the dressing room. Everybody to congratulate Hercules Ayala, who had defeated the Macho Man. Randy Savage. Boy, that's right. I'm telling you, that's just a great night there in Ponce. Now, like I said, Hugo. Let's wrap it up, then. Let's wrap it up. We're just going to go to the closing.